it's happy tuesday welcome to the channel today i am feeling good i started my new uh workout regimen and so i'm excited because when i tell you all i have fallen off of the wagon it's a shame but I'm back on. And so this morning I woke up maybe like two o'clock. And sometimes when I wake up like that in the morning, I'll just pray most times. I will read a scripture. I will just let the Lord lead me. And so I was, I was like, I better go to bed, Lord. I got to go to bed by at least, I don't know. I was like, you know, like 2.30, 2.40 so that I can get up because I had my alarm set for 4.45. So I was like, Lord, please wake me up right before or right on time for me to wake up and be you know alert and ready to go for my workout so i'm not tempted to hit the snooze button <laughs> and guys god is always so faithful so i don't know around 4 30 ish i feel like a tap on my elbow it was a strong tap y'all like boom boom and i thought it was mariano i for a moment so i just turned over no one it was not mariano and I looked at my alarm clock and it was right around 4.30ish. And I knew that he was just fulfilling a request that I had. This is not the first time, you all. I have some wild stories <laughs> that I could share. But God is so faithful. Like when I ask him to wake me up in the early morning hours, no fail. Maybe the dog will move around. Or maybe I've gotten strong taps on my right thigh. Um, just little things to alert me. And I'll look around and no one's there. But it'll be right when it's time for me to get up. And God is just so faithful. I'm sure many of you have stories like that that you could share about angelic moments. Or the Lord doing things in that way where you're like, God is so faithful. But that wasn't the word today. I just thought, man, I wanted to share and give God glory for that. Even for those things because he cares about the things that we care about. He cares about your health. He cares about, you know, your desire to eat well and to exercise. And you don't have to go this thing along. He will help you to do it if you invite him. And if you're willing to do the work, he is there to give you a tap on the shoulder to say, hey, wake up, what you doing? <laughs> so the word that I just really want to share with you today is to remain positive you all to be a light in this dark world god put you in your arena in your career wherever it is that you are for a reason so that you can lead others to christ by just being a beacon of life by living the scriptures we have a lot of people that know the scriptures but we don't have many that live the scriptures so when they see a true believer walking this thing out they want to know more about our savior because they can see they can see the glory of God on your life is unmistakable when the glory of the Lord is on your life you can't fake it you can't uh, manipulate it it's obvious and it brings people to Christ so I just want you to go out there being a light seeing the best in others speaking life praying for others more than you're praying for yourself, looking for opportunities to pray sincerely for other people and um, speaking life over them. And I promise you, when you serve in that way, in sincerity to pray over people, those prayers come to you multiplied, you know? So not that you're doing it for that, but that's just how good God is. You know, when you serve others, the best is gonna come back to you as well. So, you know, it's like buy one, get one free. <laughs> Our God is so good. But I just want to tell y'all to remain faithful. Walk this thing out. Stay in the word of God. Live the word of God. And invite him to help you. It is not by might nor by power, but by the spirit of the living God that we are able to do anything that we do. All right, guys, you all take care. I love you. Remember, you are the head, not the tail. You are above only and never beneath. God loves you, and so do I.